What's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and uh, well we got an update for you. The immersion container is running really well from fog hashing. This is the C2 kit. We're sitting around 40 degrees Celsius. I believe it's around 50 almost 60 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside but the astute among you might have noticed something. Look at the coloration of the fluid back there. We're gonna take a quick look. I have a feeling uh, I know what it is but let's talk about why my immersion liquid is turning pea yellow. So first off, this yellow coloration is uh, due to a number of different factors. So first off, you know, the S19s uh, or ba basically any Bitmain ASIC is uh, covered or protected by a particular film or, you know, anti-corrosion uh, protectant layer. Uh, they've been doing that since the S5 and you know, sometimes those those layers can come off. We've seen it actually with the wet miner, where on the C1, the liquid turned more of a grayish color because of the thermal paste that was seeping off. But I don't think it's either of these. I think it's the fittings. So you can see over here on this corner that we have brass fittings. But the problem with these two is that these 90s wouldn't fit through the two inch holes back there. So we had to replace them. Now it could be a number of different things. One, because the color has not gotten darker yellow, it could be that the fittings that we replaced it with, uh, the gentleman or individual who, you know, obviously changed out the fittings might have used a little bit extra grease. And this might be the grease that's in the liquid now. Um, or it could be, well, let me show you. Outside now, it's going to be a little bit windy. Sorry if the mic is getting some of it. But as you can see, these fittings are nickel. And one of the theories is that the nickel is leaching into the system. As the fluid goes through these hoses, which is just rubber, it gets to this point right here, touching the nickel, and then it's leaching into the system. That could be bad if the parts per million count or the amount of nickel in the system uh, climbs up extraordinarily high as long as it doesn't get any yellower than what it is right now but you can see here these are not brass and the only way i could get this working was, was if, I, if we took the 90s off and made it a straight we talked about that in a previous video we made it a straight but these might be nickel i still have yet to call the shop the hydraulic shop to confirm but this could be one reason why it's turning yellow or it could be that when the gentleman put this on he used a lot of grease on the inside and outside that has now leached into the system, discoloring it a little bit. And see if this liquid is turning conductive. And the only way to do that is with a multimeter. So here we are, I've got my multimeter and just to show you it works, uh, have it on the 20, basically I'm gonna touch the battery and we are getting 12 volts, right? More than 12 volts. Now we need to take it over here and now putting the probes in the liquid. We are not conductive at all, okay? So that's a good thing. The liquid is not turning conductive. My machines have been running just fine, but the discoloration does bother me a little bit. I think our best bet is to let it run, but monitor it or maintain uh, the current situation. Basically, keep an eye on this coloration. If this color turns any more yellow uh we need to swap out those fittings see if they can get me some brass straights and just spend the extra 250 bucks that i spent on brass fittings and then just deal with the yellow coloration or um well not or well yeah or or leave it leave it like this right if it's not hurting anything the machines are running cool everything's running great then we'll be just fine we got the bitmain s19 uh pulling some watts actually that's not the right one because it has the fans and the system the actual unit here powering this guy on it as well whereas this one has just the wet's miner so we can see the wet's miner sitting around 3600 watts and i believe uh the s19 is sitting around 3500 watts i got it overclocked a little bit and again the liquid temperatures are around 40 degrees uh, when the outside temperature is, is around 60 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So as long as it doesn't get any yellower than this, we should be good. But yeah, Bitmain uses an anti-corrosive uh, property or, or protectant on its boards 
and nine times out of ten you really want to clean those off before you go dunking it I did not do that it was a fresh unit I probably should have uh, tore it down but you know sometimes when you tear things down you might actually make it worse than better additionally I wonder if the yellow Ethernet cables is leaching color into the system because you can see this top one is a lot yellower than that bottom one but we'll see just gonna keep an eye on it but at least it's not conductive that's the big thing not conductive it's still got great uh, thermal properties still running great and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on it so that's gonna do it for today's video do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here and I'll catch you in the next one take care